Good afternoon. My name is Bart Malcolm. I am CEO and Head of Product Development for Simply H2O, otherwise known as Simply Water. Simply Water is a company that has been created to produce environmentally friendly water for an environmentally conscious world. You see, the problem we have in this country is the average American uses 167 disposable bottles of water on an annual basis and only 38 of these bottles are ever recycled. If we equate this to another well-known commodity, this is which is oil, this is 17 million barrels of water that's sold in plastic bottles. The solution that we've created here at Simply Water is to produce a purified water product that's packaged in biodegradable paper bottles. And we're doing this to create an eco-friendly bottled water product for people to make the world a better place and to reduce the carbon footprint. Our product. Our water is derived from a spring water source. It's purified by a mobile filtration system and this prevents water source exhaustion. The water bottle itself is made from biodegradable paper. The paper is recycled, recyclable, biodegradable, and nutrient rich for the soil. Our target market or our, cons uh, or our consumers. We're going to be going after an environmentally conscious consumer, both young and those of age. We also are going to roll the product out in the coastal markets, in urban areas that are environmentally conscious, and to the active and health conscious uh, individual. We have a marketing and sales plan that is very emotionally driven. If we look at this slide presentation, if we look at this slide here, no one wants a beach like the slide on the left. Everybody wants the slide or wants a beach like the slide on the right. That's obvious. If we look at our product from a perspective of the world and the nature around us, we want to be friendly to our children and we want to be uh, environmentally conscious to our children's children as well as the animals and the plants themselves that are in the world around us because we need them as much as they need us. Our sales plan here at Simply Water identifies specific buyers for our product. It includes environmentalists, it includes government agencies, landowners, and tribal organizations and specific retailers that are designed for the healthy and active consumer. We've got a three-tier marketing plan here at Simply Water and it's going to roll out our product on coastal regions using television networks and social media and then the tier two and tier three will be a uh, will be used to measure the penetration in these regions and how successful where you we are uh, are from a marketing standpoint in television advertising and on social media and then we want to understand what markets that we're penetrating success successfully and why and then the markets that we're not we want to understand what is it that we're doing that we could do better to have further market penetration in those areas now, from a marketing sales plan perspective we want to be first in the industry and a market leader in paper uh, water bottling and then after we are first and we're a leader in that market, we want to roll our product out into larger areas, into more herbal areas in these coastal regions. And then we want to then go into uh, the, the medium that we will use will be national news, and then we will focus more on private and public radio stations as well as organic food stores and other recreational areas to, dis uh, to further distribute our product. Our competition is not so much the large water bottles, it's going to be more of the boutique players in the space. Uh, from a national level, um, we're different from these large bottlers, Co, Pepsi, Nestle. They are large distributors of bottled water. We're not competing with them. If we look at the boutique players in which we are competing with from a water distribution standpoint, we've got a number of specific players uh, that we are directly competing with. However, the distinction that we have here at H Simply Water is we are focusing on the product packaging and not so much on the water. Many of our competitors are focusing on specific uh, types of water, whether it's Fiji water or it's other players 
who are um, doing something unique to the water to make the water special and taste different and more healthy or whatever, that's not our focus. We're delivering purified water. What our distinction is, is in the packaging in which it's delivered to the consumer and it is environmentally friendly and it can be disposed of in a number of different ways, whether it's through conventional trash cans, recycled, burned, or even dissolved into the ocean. Again, our product is designed to not create or to lower the carbon footprint and to only use non-toxic biodegradable materials in the production of our product. Because people are concerned about how products are disposed of from a plastic perspective and many consumers and stakeholders in these various companies want to understand the concerns that plastic is creating in these uh, products that are being created and mass produced today. Also, we want to ensure that uh, customers understand that we are open and we are going to push very hard to disclose all of the uh, through products that are going to be used to make our packaging and we want consumers to understand that the product will be FDA approved. Now, what everybody is, uh, from an investment standpoint, here's what people are really wanting to understand. From a financial standpoint, Simply Water expects to be profitable in its first year of operations. Top line revenue is expected to exceed $200,000 in the first year. Gross profit margins in the first year is expected to be 30%. The ownership of Simply Water is going to have two series of ownership units. We're going to have a series A, which will have uh, voting rights and economic rights. Those will be for the three founders only. And then series B units, which is what we're offering now, will have economic rights. So uh, a little bit more about the product uh, before we get into what we're looking to uh, raise from an economic standpoint as a reminder of why this investment would be good. Our product can be used as a fire starter. It's rich for the environment. It's rich for the soil. We've got a number of different ways in which this product can be disposed of. It's non-toxic, it's organic, and it does not have a measurable carbon footprint for our environment. Our business model itself. At Simply Water, we expect to keep 50% of the sales price. Now, first year, we expect to sell the bottle, 16 ounce bottle for $2.95 a bottle. We project uh, that we can present, we can get potentially 5% of this, the boutique or specialty water market, which would enable us to have 2 million units sold, creating revenue of $5.9 million. Um, from a valuation standpoint and financials, this makes sense because the U.S. is the largest bottled water market in the world. Private label bottled uh, water sales actually outpace branded water market sales. And in the private labeled market, we are positioned to uh, have a measurable, foot uh, measurable market print and to gain market share. Now, our current valuation is $600,000 and we expect the company to be worth $1.2 million in three years. From an exit strategy standpoint, as we continue to grow our footprint, um, we can continue to, one option is to continue to collect the income stream that hopefully we will be earning off of distributions. There's a takeout target. The company could have be a takeout target for a branded company, or we could have a private equity exit uh, who, could provide an, uh, who could provide significant capital to us uh, at some point in the future. Uh, who wants to be known as a private equity firm that's um, furthering their environmental strategy? What we're seeking today is $200,000 for 25% interest in the company. The investment will be in B units and the investment will be to facilitate the initial bottling and branding of Simply Water. Now here are the people who are gonna make this happen. As I mentioned, my name is Bart Malcolm. Uh, previously, I came from the financial world. I've got an MBA in finance. Also helping me will be Cindy Rafsevini, who is gonna be head and director of marketing and research. And finally, I've got Austin Needham, who is going to be product distribution and sales and site manager. And with this team, we feel comfortable that we can hit our projections. And we look forward to working with you. And we're excited to offer this opportunity. And we look forward to being a partner for years into the future. Thank you for your time. And we look forward to your investment. Thank you.